because we are just like you. And the only difference is that we have a herd of sheep. Okay? Kelly, yeah, whatever y'all want to be called today. <laughs> I mean that with love. Y'all right? <laughs> know I mean that with love no matter what crazy thing comes out of my mouth. Yeah. Alright. So bookings, like you guys have to understand with bookings, they are the lifeline of your business. Let me see what time it is I've got a lot to go around. Make sure I'm on time. So with bookings, one of the things you need to remember is they are the lifeline of your business. So we have to think about who we're going to do um, to call on for our bookings, correct? Mm -hmm. All right. So what we're going to do, and everything that I go over here tonight, I'm actually going to send uh, via email. So you don't have to try to write everything that I'm saying. Just basically do the titles and whatnot, and you will get them. So I love this who do you know sheet. So many times people will tell me, and this is good for the new jeweler too, She'll say, I don't know anybody. I don't know who to ask, okay? Well, this is going to be your start. So for every one of you that does not have a calendar where you want it, you need to be using this sheet, making a list of names, and calling people every single day. Now, I'm not telling you you have to sit down for a half an hour to an hour and make calls every day. No. But if you will take this and create a list of people that would fit into these categories, have that sheet with you, and every time you have some spare time, okay, those nooks and crannies of your day, we're all very busy, okay? The nooks and crannies, you can send fun text messages, you can call people, I will let you know though, do not expect Facebook and email and text to do the job for you. Those allow um, time to work behind the scenes. They're working behind the scenes saying, here, this is what I'm looking for, yeah. while you are taking the time to make the phone call. Personal communication is huge, mm -hmm. okay? Now, so some of the things on here, you're going to have your basics, friends, guests, um, uh, family members, people on your teams, but some other stuff that you might not think about is uh, people that do things yeah. for you, your um, landscaping person, somebody that does your book screen, okay, hair salon, nail salon, all of these types of things are people that we wouldn't typically ask. The ladies on the PTA, okay, can you do something for the school for a fundraiser? Yeah, we're at the end of the year, but May is relay. Mm -hmm. uh, is it April, May? I'm going to teach it up for fundraising. Yes. Relay. So Relay for Life is really revving up right now. So mm -hmm. y'all, if you come in and offer a school, I'll give, I'll donate to Relay. You might be able to get in there. There's tons of schools. So the Who Do You Know sheet is huge. Start uh, making a list of who you know in these categories and start making calls. Now, I will say this too because a lot of people think, well, that's great. Now I've got a list. At least I'm a step further. What can I do to get the booking? So I'm going to tell you some things that you can use to motivate, bribe, whatever you want to call it. Okay. How bad do you want to show? All right, so some things you're going to do is offer extras, okay? You can send out a text, and I've done this before. I'm in a challenge. I need to get this. I need to show my jewelry to this many people during this week or during this month. I've got two weeks left, whatever it is. Will you help me? Okay? When you say I'm in a challenge, they somehow just jump. Oh, I want to help you. I want to help you. And then you can offer them something for helping you. All right? Things like, I've got a date in this week. I'm willing to give you $25 in free jewelry. If your budget allows, you can go up higher if you like. Okay? The point is, yes, you may have to spend some money to get it, but if you didn't have the show to begin with, you're not making any money to lose. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, and remember, even if you have a small show, it's in those small shows that you build relationships and you can further yourself. Okay? I've told this story a couple times. I told Courtney, I told Keisha, trying to explain their new jewelers and trying to help them to understand how the $100 show works. Okay? Um, for those of you that, that don't know her, Brooke Woodward is my premier grandmother, Candy's premier mom. Okay? Brooke Woodward was in a state in her business, and she's been around for 11 years? 11. Well, she's almost 12. Yeah, she's 11 something. So uh, she's been around for a long time, but she told us at the very beginning of her business she was the $100 show queen. Anybody feel that? <laughs> Anybody? If you haven't had it yet, you will go through it, so don't worry about it, okay? 
So she said if she had started or kept going with that direction, she would have quit, you know. But she said, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to keep going on, keep going on. And one of the things she did was went out and decided to have a mystery hostess show. So y'all write mystery hostess. Okay. Right now you could also classify that as a personal show if you um, want to hold it that way. If you've already done a personal show in the month, you can also hold a mystery show, which is where you invite guests to your home. You do the show there. It could be a round the table kind of thing. It's more conversational. Uh, and then you put everybody's name in a drawing that purchased items and draw a winner. Okay, so that's another way for you to do that. So what Brooke did is went around, dressed her little girl up. She went around her neighborhood, door to door. Can you imagine that being out of your comfort zone? She went door to door knocking, giving invitations to all the people in her neighborhood, invited them, and lo and behold, from one of those bookings, Came the entire downline that was in this room. Wow. Yeah. Yes, it was Candy's friend, and then Candy signed up at that girl show. Thank you, Candy. <laughs> and so the rest is, I did not want to go do We heard this story <laughs> several times. That's the girl that makes our pink shirts now. Oh, yes, she, she even makes our fun up. shirts and stuff. So that story was wow. told, I don't even know how many years ago she shared that, but at that point, 56 people had Well, been and you know, it wasn't even Shannon's show. Like, it was her sister-in-law. Okay, so it was, it was really like, that. and that, and then Shannon booked, and anyways, that's how she got to me, but, like, you never know. At that point, there were 56 people that had gone through Brooke, and so this is years later. Can you imagine if she stopped her business that you all here would not have been in Premier Through Us if you ever found a good one? Okay, so remember, that $100 show, don't let it beat you down, even if you have them one after another after another, okay? So when you do start getting to that slump, though, we need to work with you on the retail side because we want to make sure that you're um, selling correctly and that your host is coaching correctly because a lot of that comes from lack of host is coaching. Okay? Now, a couple things you can try with your bookings right now. Did y'all see the limited edition list uh -huh. the retiring pieces? Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you when you're a brand new jeweler, that makes you sad. Who's sad their favorite pieces are leaving? Okay, y'all get over it. Okay, let me tell you. Get over it. My first year of premiere, my favorite watch was leaving, and I called Holly, my great grandma on premiere, and I said, But can I keep it if I just like it? We'll have it on my tele table, and I'll just tell them, Well, I can't get you this one, but I can't get you that. She says, Tammy, if you can't sell something, why do you want to wear it? You got a point. So, I call it recycling jewelry. Now, ladies, you can't afford to just come in and buy all the jewelry that you want, correct? And if you're spending all your money from shows on jewelry, that's not the good thing. Don't do that, okay? We want to be making money, earning free jewelry, Yeah. okay? So when you get that list, pull those pieces off of your table, and you can use those to get bookings, okay? As a new jeweler, you may not have many, so that may not be always the way you turn, but you can use those pieces to offer them, book a date right here and make it a short window, you can pick a piece of this jewelry. I've sponsored jewelers that way too. Just because I got her on my calendar with a piece of jewelry and ultimately she came in the premiere. So use your limited edition pieces for things like that. Um, you can also use the promotions. We've got really good promotions going on right now. Anybody uh, been successful with the $10 special? Yeah. Okay, this requires hostess coaching now. When your host is coaching, you need to let her know. You need to make a special flyer. Put this in there with her pre-sale sheet so that all of her people looking at this catalog and the hostess know with $75 retail order, she can pick anything up to 50 for 10. This is our favorite customer special. They love it. Yeah. Okay? And remind them right now, it is Mother's Day right around the corner. This will be able for you to get some stuff and your, you know, get your gift for your mom. Okay? So use that. And, of course, May... So uh, the $10 special will be done at the end of April, and you have May. So you can already start using this right now to get bookings on your calendar. So if you're trying to get in April, what I would recommend is letting your hostesses know, or your prospects, that you want to be a hostess, that we have the amazing $10 special. The ladies love it. It's going to increase your retail. This is a great time to do a show. Uh, they can buy some gifts for Mother's Day. And, by the way, I'm offering this if you'll pick a date between here and here. Okay? Because, yes, the promotion is good, but you're in a two-week window trying to do something in April. You've got to be willing to offer something. Mm -hmm. Okay? So do that. 
So then as May comes around, you're trying to book the May calendar. Ladies, we have double hostess bonuses. That means you can earn up to $100 for each of your bonuses. $200 free right off the bat. And let, let me tell you, all you have to do is have an average $400 show. So easy to do. And for those of you ladies who haven't gotten past the $100 or $200 mark, don't tell them that. It's easy. You can do it. $400 show. How are we going to get you to $400? We're going to focus on those pre-sales. Okay? So just remember that. This is a great one. Book your calendar. You've got lots of stuff going on through May. You can do a Mother's Day show. Not on Mother's Day, but use May, ladies. The first couple weeks of May, use that as something fun for moms. Yeah. Let's have a, a mom's night out in honor of Mother's Day. Okay? It doesn't have to be in time to get a gift for Mother's Day. You can do things like that. Yes, ma'am. We have graduation. So. And okay. thank you. Yeah. Thank you she needs a ticket. <laughs> yeah. Sure. 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 Well, one of them goes to the red dish. All right. Who wants to tell me the ticket? Judy, you mind? Okay. Or can you get the ticket? Okay, wait. What are, what are these? Yeah, those are from the ones I took. Good idea. Good idea. I didn't put them in the red ticket. And Shamaro and Sandra, they need their tickets up here. They got their tickets. She didn't get hers. Okay. Now, tonight, uh, if y'all notice, there's lots of goodies for sale on the table. The lady with the most tickets is going to get first dibs. Okay, so if y'all interact, you can get involved and get some tickets. Okay. So, yes, Arcadia mentioned something awesome. Graduations. Okay? Graduations. And you're also starting with weddings. There's a lot of wedding stuff. Huh? Teacher appreciation. Teacher appreciation. All kinds of different events that you can highlight um, to get people to have a show. Ooh. And hold on. Anybody that... Anybody have teacher or guests they have to get? Mm -hmm. Anybody? Yes. Yeah. Okay, you know what I got? Every year, like, the, my kid's teacher gets the love cup. Y'all, it's 30 bucks, costs us 15, and it just says thank you, you know, for taking care of my kid all year, and it's the love cup that says, you know, the love is patient, love is kind. Thank you for having patience for my child. <laughs> so it's a cute one, a little gift card, and you put an extra gift card in there with it for them to buy something else they may and you could also do it in a way to where you could ask all the, the moms in your class, hey, do you want to have a jewelry show? You can get your teacher gifts for free. Yeah. Because they're looking to show appreciation. That would be great. Thanks for mentioning that one too. Okay, so I'm going to show you a couple things uh, as far as bookings at your show. Now, first of all, ladies, you want to try to get your bookings at the show. Okay, so first of all, we have to get bookings on our calendar. So that's your first job if your calendar isn't where you want it, right? Okay. Emma's back there. Emma, you want to play with Katie? She's like, Two little people. Okay. All right, so get people on your calendar, and then once we get into the show, you want to try to book within the show yeah. because here's what happens if you don't have them on the calendar they are not a booking they are a thought mm -hmm. <laughs> and those thoughts linger and before you know it they're gone okay so 90 percent of your people will probably hold a show if you get them on the calendar at the show all right so we're going to do a couple things i'm going to first of all show you the booking activity okay Candy, would you come up here and be my host this week? Sure. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to be working out of the purse game, okay? Uh, the way we teach most of our jewelers coming in now is through the purse game, and if you're not the purse game, you've got another great way of doing it, but you may still fall on this booking activity. Do you all need player pass and um, back in the box? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so you're doing the same thing, okay? So when we get to hostess, this is what I say, okay? All right, let me do it. All right, so when we get to H, H is for my awesome hostess, Candy. Okay? <laughs> now, hostesses are my favorite people. Okay? They're my favorite people, so y'all just remember I can't see. And normally I would just say that. <coughs> Not be rude. Okay, I'm just going to say that. Just say it. Let me just tell y'all. I'm going to say it now. But when you've been doing premiere as long as we have, it's just memorized, okay? It just comes out, all right? When we teach you new jewelers, we give you notes on the back for a reason mm -hmm. so that you can practice, 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 practice 
so that it just starts to flow off of you. Now, I do not expect you to read word for word what this would say, okay, like I just tried to do. That was actually in plain. So what I would expect you to do is maybe highlight a couple things or put a post-it so you just glance as you're talking, okay? And so, if you forget everything, you laugh. Then you just, then you read it. <laughs> then you say, all right, y'all, I'm just going to read it. This is what I did forever. I'm new, y'all forgive me. I was new for at least two years. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Y'all really at a show, don't be afraid. The only thing they care about is having fun. If you can make them laugh, it does not matter what you want. Yes, right. Okay? Please. All right, so I love my hostesses. They are my favorite people. Candy, thank you so much for having a show for me. Listen, ladies, our hostesses support our family, so it's a really big deal. And you know what? Premier loves our hostesses, too, so I want to show you what they are going to give her just for having us friends over tonight, okay? First of all, they are going to give 30% and free jewelry of whatever the jewelry show is. Now, ladies, the average jewelry show is like $500. Okay? So what would a $500 jewelry show, 30% of that look like? Can y'all count with me? We're going to pretend like these are $25. $25. Come on, count with me. 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 150. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. Okay. But you know what? It's going to get even better because they even let you have gift cards, ladies. You can earn two gift cards. Very easy to do. First of all, you just got to pass your catalog around to those ladies who can't make it to the show. And if they place $100 worth of orders and we just keep that original date, Premier gives you $50 for that in free jewelry. How easy. Right? Now, the other great one is three future bookings. Now, I know there are three of you ladies sitting here thinking, oh my gosh, I have so much on my wish list, I need to have a show. So, you're going to help your friend out, and then Premier is going to give her another $50 in free jewelry. Loving it? Yes. Now, ladies, you know all she will pay for that is $4 flat fee to ship that plus her sales tax. So, we're thinking like 20 bucks, and she'd have all that fabulous jewelry? Yes. That's the way to do it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, but you know what? There's more. There's always more. Premier's going to even let you shop for half price. So when you go to Premier and look for your half price items, let's say you get like three items half price. They're going to give you four eggs. Let's just throw in three items. Do you know that this rolls back into your jewelry show? And Premier is so awesome that they are going to give you some more jewelry. <laughs> Now, who wants some of that? I do. <laughs> now, ladies, this is what we're going to do. We're going to play a game, okay? We're going to play this game. It's called Player Pass. And the only rule I have is there's no shaking or peeking. You guys got that? You got that? So I'm going to come around and I'm going to let you pick a box. There's no shaking or peeking. Now y'all have to promise. Okay. Thank you, Candy. You did a great job of balancing Yay. all of this. <laughs> okay, ladies, here I come. Do you want to pick the first box? Sure. Okay. Now, ladies, this is what we're going to do. Pass the boxes around, okay. Pick a box. Shake your feet. I don't like rule breakers. Okay. Okay, so, ladies, now, this is how we play the game, okay? Now, if you choose to play the game with me, that means that you're going to get all this free jewelry. You're going to get a goodie that's in that box. Can you get me? <laughs> now, if for some insane reason you decide not to play, that means you get no jewelry. You get nothing in the box. You have to give it back to me. Okay? And then you don't get me. Okay, now who wants to play? I do, I do. Awesome. Cynthia, that's great. That's great. Shamar, that's great. Now, ladies, you're going to get to open your box, and then we're going to find you a date before I leave. Now, Sandra. Don't you want to play? Don't you love it? You're going to get to see my hand. No. <laughs> I think she was kind of scared. <laughs> Sam, you said no? I, I don't have enough friends. Listen, we all got enough friends, but even if you just have one or two girlfriends, we'll just come play at the coffee shop. How about that? Okay. Does that work good? Okay, good. And Sam, you didn't get a box, but you weren't booking anyway, right? That's not right. She, she just likes to buy her jewelry. That's okay. And for those of you that can't make up your mind, I'm going to take a commercial break, and we'll get you at checkout, okay? You have an opportunity. So, ladies, this is great. Since you're going to have a show, open up your box, see what you got.
really, that's how easy it is. You've got to get comfortable with the stacking of the boxes because this is a visual that you're going to be doing for them. You need to know what you're talking about. So one of the things that I do recommend, when you are doing the flip chart, know what you are talking about. Do not have to look at the back. Get that hostess plan down, okay? If, yes, ma'am. What do y'all recommend for new jewelers to put in the boxes? Yeah. Smarties. Smarties. Yeah. Okay, and that's, I was going to get to that part. Smarties for making a party. Give her a ticket for, or you can do a mint. Jump it in there. Be awesome. My new jewelers especially. I do not think that you need to be buying all those frillies from the incentive yeah. store. We try to keep you, you away from right. the incentive store and all those extras, okay? I want you to put a smarty in there or a mint. Smarty for having a party, meant to be a hostess. If you use tickets, I put a number one through five or two through five or a star, which means you get ten tickets, and that just means you're putting extra tickets towards my drawing at the end. Okay? So the other thing with that, you want to be paying back your investment, building up financially, so you don't need to put uh, prizes in those things at this point, and people laugh. And that's what I tell them. We're trying to pay back our investment. It's not about the smarty. It's going to be the jewelry that's in it later. Okay. So, do what? Meant to be a hostess. Yeah. So, I, I put tickets, so I put numbers in my lids. So, I'll make put smarties in there, and then, like, a number three or a star means they get ten tickets because they booked a party. Um, and they're, it, like, I usually have, like, one through five, and then I have, like, one star, which means they got double five. So those are taking it to the next level. At this point, I would still stay with something simple until you get all of that down. Okay, so make sure you know your hostess plan. Ladies in the back, y'all hear me too? Okay, make sure you know your hostess plan, because whether you're at a show or not, if you're trying to get people on your calendar and they're asking you what you get, you need to know it. Okay? Yeah, you don't want to say 30% off. You want to say 30% of your entire sales and free. Like, you know, that's like little things like that. Like I've done role playing and caught that it's, you know, the little things where, you know, or you can get a certain amount of free jewelry. You can have limited free jewelry depending on what your sales are. Say the average hostess gets two to $300 in free jewelry. Right. Then the next thing, you want to role play this with your family, okay? Find a partner, an accountability partner in here, somebody to work with. Get together, role play. If you can't get together with your premier mom, role play with your people. Okay, now this um, player pass right here, you want to make sure you understand that, that you get that part right. This is going to secure your booking in a fun way. She's talking, she's talking. All right, now, the other thing with bookings from your show is going to come off your surveys. Does everybody use a survey? Okay. If you do not use a survey, you are missing out. This is the most important thing you have at your show. More than jewelry. More than jewelry. The reason why is people are going to write what they will not say. Mm -hmm. Okay? So you get information. They don't realize how you use this. Okay? So when I finish a show, what I do is step away. I collect all of my surveys. I don't worry about how messy the jewelry table is. I just step away and go sort my surveys. I put yeses that are going to be on a calendar. Maybes I'm going to turn into a yes. Never I pretend like I never saw it. <laughs> yeah, and I ask them anyway. So this is what I'm going to say. I'm going to um, ask for a volunteer. I'm going to say Beverly. Beverly and I are at the table together. Okay, and Beverly and I are about to close the door or out. And Beverly has said maybe to me. Okay? Now, it used to be in my business, I would look at that, take those maybes home, and those would be part of those calls that I had to make until Brooke opened my eyes. And she said, start working towards them through a conversation to change the maybe to a yes. Brilliant. Okay? So when you see the maybe, don't go, oh, shoot, they didn't say yes. <laughs> Most people won't say yes. Okay? Most of my shows are maybes. Okay, that I turn into a yes, okay? Now, so what I'm going to ask you, Beverly, I noticed you said maybe. What's a good month for us to get together? Oh, I'm just too busy moving right now. Oh, I totally understand. You know what? I'm booking now through December. Is mm -hmm. there a better month that might work for your schedule? Hmm. I don't know. Okay. I'm really busy. You're really busy. Okay. Yeah. You know what? Fall will be here soon. 
And you know what? Everybody's going to love to do the Christmas shopping. You want to maybe pencil something in further out, and then we can see how things are going for you? Oh, I love fall. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, great. You know, I do shows on Christmas Thursdays. Shopping. Yes, yeah. Christmas yeah. shopping. Yeah. I do shows on Thursdays and Fridays. Okay. Which is the better day of the week for you? Fridays left open. Do you want to go ahead and pencil one so it's secure for you? Uh, yeah, sure. Right. Go ahead and pencil that in. Then your hostess gets the benefit tonight. And then I will follow up in the next week to make sure it's a good day for you. Okay. You see how I just changed that baby to a yes? Okay. Now you'll have people sometimes in conversation that they are adamant. They are not having a jewelry shop. Okay. But they do have a big wish list. So then I'll say things like, I know you could never. Don't you love the jewelry though? Yeah. Would you like some of it for free if I could do it without a show? Mm-hmm. Well, maybe. Well, listen, if you could pass your catalog around at work or something, you know, you yeah. probably have some girlfriends that would love the jewelry. Just collect some orders for me, and then we'll get together with you and your best friend, and you can get free jewelry without having a show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's all in how you interpret the show and how they respond. You continue that conversation with them until you manipulate them. No. <laughs> <laughs> the ladies, the key is do not get your feelings hurt if they say no and they just will not right. change their mind. Do not be pushy. Yeah. Okay? If they are extremely resistant and in conversation it's not going anywhere, say, well, thank you so much. I would love to be your jewelry lady anytime you need something. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. But yes, ma'am. And don't give up if they do say no. Just kind of like check that letter with them. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. I've been in that almost three years and my mother in law just know how to check. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And, she was an and, and, and some people <laughs> will continue to, they will change their surveys from show to show. So just watch. They could have been having that hormonal day at the <laughs> <laughs> So you're going to use your surveys to get people on your calendar as well. So have a great booking activity, know how to do it, and then follow it up with your survey to make sure that they are getting on the calendar. And use that verbiage. What month? What day of the week, and tell them the days you do it, which one works for you. Okay, just narrow it down. Because in their minds, they're thinking, she wants me to have a show right now. I can't possibly see straight right now. No way I can do a show. And you're like, I don't care when it is, just get on my calendar. Okay? So, that's what we're going to do. Now, who wants to up their retail? Yes. 